Okay, so today we are going over addition with no regrouping, and this is going to be something that we're practicing for the next few days. And then I will show you an example with addition with regrouping. So this first one is not going to have regrouping, but I just want you to see how the strategy is going to go. So let's say that we have 24 plus 13. Okay, what you're going to do, you always start at the ones place and then you move on to the tens place. First thing you want to do is make 24. So you're going to compose the number 24. How many ones do I have? Four, four ones. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four in my tens ring. And then how many groups of 10? Well, I have 20. The value is 20, so I have two groups of 10. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one group of 10, two groups of 10. Well, when we have addition, you need to also build the bottom number. You are adding on 13 to the 24. Well, how many ones do you have? You have three ones. So you're going to put one, two, three. And then groups of 10, you have one group of 10. So then that's going to be one group of 10. Now you're ready to add. Well, we have four plus three. You know what? We should put this together and see if it makes 10 or more, you have to regroup. That means you bring your group of 10 over to the tens place. If it's less than that, then you don't regroup. So let's go ahead and count. This is four, start with your biggest number, four, five, six, seven. Did we make a group of 10? No, that made seven. So I'm just going to circle, no regroup, because we didn't need to regroup, and write my number seven. We have seven ones. Then I move on to the tens place. Two groups of 10, that's two, plus one group of 10, that's another one, two plus one is three. 37. 